Meet John, a typical office worker who's always looking for ways to improve himself. I've always been interested in self-improvement, but with so many videos and advice out there, it can be overwhelming. So John decided to take matters into his own hands and watch a ton of self-improvement videos. I know it sounds crazy, but I wanted to see if there was any truth to all the advice out there. John watched videos on everything from productivity hacks to meditation techniques and even tried a few of them out for himself. I thought yoga was supposed to be relaxing, but I feel like I'm out. I'm about to become a pretzel. They say time is money, but I don't think they realized how much time I spent watching videos on how to save time. Some of their advice was helpful, but a lot of it was just common sense. I realized that the key to self-improvement is to find that what works for you. But just when John thought he had, oh, he had it all figured out, he stumbled upon a video that changed everything. I never realized how much I was holding myself back by constantly trying to improve myself. I needed to learn to accept myself for who I am and focus on the things that truly matter. So what did John learn from watching so much of self improvement videos? That the most important thing is to love and accept yourself for who you are. So go ahead and watch those self improvement videos. But remember to always be true to yourself. No, no, completely ignore that last part. That this last part didn't happen to John. I feel like we all co come across that one video where we feel like, yeah, this is the video I needed. And now I'll truly start working. And fortunately for most of us, this actually works for some time. But the cycle just repeats. We find the video, we start working for some time, and then we start. We need that motivation again. So we start looking for those videos again. The only thing you need to know is very simple. Rather than actively consuming the self-improvement content, just start. It, it sounds hard, but just start. Force yourself to start and when you feel drained, that'll be probably after 5 minutes you open your book or start working. Then you watch something short. You don't require a full technique to be explained. You don't need to watch a 20 minute video to understand something or start working. Just watch something short that motivates you. You don't need to learn everything, you just need some motivation. Along with this, what I found to be the most useful for me was to switch to reading books rather than consuming content through videos. Books, I, I usually don't read books for fun, I would say. So when I do read books, it makes it a lot simpler and less addictive. So I can get that information I need and not spend a lot of time acquiring that. So this was the story of John and something you can learn and apply to your own life. Thanks for watching and please like and subscribe.